Hi guys, it's Tiffany Fontenot, your friendly reverse speech analyst here. Well, I have some information for you. I was sent this today. So Mike Pence, you know, I'm getting some reverse speech on him that's just, it's not, it's problematic. And um, this is no exception. Let's just listen to what he said first and I'll show you the reversal that I found. Remember, if you're heading out tomorrow, Friends don't let friends vote alone. Bring a family member, bring a neighbor, and vote to send David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back to Washington, D.C. You know, I know we all, we all got our doubts about the last election. And I want to assure you, I share the concerns of millions of Americans about voting irregularities. And I promise you, come this Wednesday, we'll have our day in Congress. We'll hear the objections. We'll hear the evidence. But tomorrow is Georgia's day. So for our faith, for our freedom, we need you to vote, Georgia. Vote to send David Perdue and Kelly Leffler back to the United States Senate. Okay, now when he says, for our faith, uh, I, I'm not sure that he's talking about Christians, guys. I'm just not. Um, you know, I think we're dealing with infiltration here. Um, and this is connected to Israel. Knesset is showing up in his reverse speech uh, about this race. So... Um, so let's just hear this. So forward, he says, and it may be hard for you guys to see, but I, I can't. Uh, oh, wait. Let's see. Can I see if I can zoom in anymore? Okay, let's let's go with that. Okay, so let me play this reversal for you. So the forward speech he, is where he uh, talks about for our freedom, we need you to vote. George, we need you to. Is that showing all of it? To vote Georgia, vote to send David, and then that's where I found the reversal, that exact phrase. Okay, so let's take a listen. And the uh, reversal is, here we ask Knesset, Leffler's yours, cloth wishes he knew, muddier fro. For our freedom, we need you to vote Georgia, vote to send David... Okay. Now, in my opinion, that means that Pence asserting Georgians go vote to send David is like saying to send David is like send Israel almost. Um, and it's connected to something that looks predetermined through asking permission from and having been arranged via the Knesset or governing body of Israel regarding Leffler being yours or winning and a man of the cloth, likely meaning either a clergyman or um, or Christians in general, uh, wishing they knew about it. But mud is being thrown back on it, like to and fro being thrown on it, concerning uh, what is being heard and or understood here that he is talking about. So it sounds like he's trying to muddy the waters or confuse Christians and or a specific clergyman with his words here. So it's looking like Israeli interference here in our elections. Not surprising. There's there's a lot of it. And... Um, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so um, then I wanted to show you a couple of reversals where this has come up before. So McCain, now I just don't, you know, I'm trying to uncover how, how bad this infiltration is, but you know, this is Leslie Stahl talking about McCain when he first learned he has a, had a problem back in July. And 
so this doesn't get too long. I'm not going to play this one. I'm just going to play one more for you. But he, she mentions Moloch and the Knesset and Neural Surfer. So, in other words, this neural brain tumor that he had is connected to Moloch and the Knesset. And then when I uh, um, Naomi Long found a reversal uh, that said um, in Megan McCain's reverse speech, she said dad's suicide as a cause of death. So it's almost like it, it's just it's almost like the Knesset ordered it. You know, so like I said, it looks like they're throwing their mid management under the bus in order to keep that capstone. And I need that capstone obliterated, guys. These people have hurt so many people and it just cycles around and around. They just regenerate. Okay, so um you know, Rothschilds and above and that AI parasite that they use to, to help them, you know, organize stuff that makes suggestions and they follow it. And they appear to be using uh, part of the Knesset at least. I, I don't know how many of there are involved in this, but Israel, Israelis need freed from this cult because it, it the head of the snake appears to be in Israel. Okay, so they're suppressing Israelis too. It, it's a cult. <laughs> you know, I just don't know how else to say it. It is an insane cult. Okay, so um, right here, John Kerry, who appears to be in that cult, is talking about a heavy impact here in his forward speech. And then here, he's talking about Christians seeing Hitler because those who like Christmas are Christians and in the future it's conditional as to whether or not they'll see Hitler or a sadistic dominating force or someone who's like Hitler so let's listen to that one dumping 86 million metric tons of those who like Christmas and if you see Hitler Okay, so, um, and now, Boris, you're up next, my boy. You know, he's playing along with this COVID over in the UK for a third lockdown. I am so sick of it. So I'm going to see what his better half has to say for him. And, um... You know, I really respect where reverse speech comes from, so I listen very carefully to try to determine what they are expressing. Okay, because on that side of the fence, it's a whole different ball game, guys. They're trying to guide us, and then this cult is trying to get in the way of that. They specifically, I was explaining to someone earlier today, from what I've experienced being a TI, and all the reverse speech research that I have done, all my, you know, where we are here, they are building an Internet of Things, trying to move it into the quantum realm so we'll really be lost in artificial reality. Um, what we have to do is balance in the face of this and move back to God's structure, God's natural structure. So, and, and what these guys do, you know... <sighs> We, we come from a place, we come from home, and then we're indoctrinated. Some of us are indoctrinated by that ridiculous AI parasite system. And then, um, you know, and then we only have these bodies a short time, and then we leave. So um, it seems to me that the more we can understand about where we come from, the better we can do um, while we're here, and the better we can balance while we're here. You know, nobody is happy under this system. It is ridiculous. But here we have people who are rolling out and following orders, being barked, coming through Israel, you know. And Israel is just a hub for this vehicle, okay. This thing is attacking humanity, and that includes the people born into that cult. But, you know, I, I, if you can't keep from killing and torturing other humans, you're going to have to G.O. You know, you need to be tried. And if found guilty, then I recommend the death penalty because humanity has to be safeguarded from this. You know? Um, so anyway, Boris, you're up next. 
and um I just think so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to what is I, I don't know if I'll find anything but I want to see what his um, you know higher aspect and his truth speaking side has to say for for what's going on here so um, so if you my next video may be on Boris Johnson if it's if it's interesting and of, of um, public interest if I think um, the public can benefit from it then I'll make another video okay so you guys I hope you have had a good Monday and I hope that this is um, helping to enlighten you and um, help you really see you know bring roll out this map of truth so that we all can roll up our sleeves and uh, fit in best where we can help best okay we're not we are not helpless um, and we don't hang all of our hopes on on one man, you know, you know. And I I can't do it all myself either. So, <laughs> but I am trying to tell y'all what our better halves are expressing, so that you can then take that ball and run with it. And only you know how best you can run with it. You know what I mean? So, you you know your gifts, your talents, your strengths, your passions, and your connections. You know, go look at look at the the, the map of what's going on here that our you know our shared consciousness is talking about, and and run that ball down the field and score us all a touchdown, and we'll scream and holler for you because I I just can't wait. <laughs> you know we've got to get back in balance here um oh and then i i don't think i finished my point let me do that i'm getting kind of tired i've put out a lot of videos in the last couple of days um so so this cult it's it's doing this quantum internet and then um and what it's trying to do is force telepathy uh, all of the stuff that it is doing is it's trying to act like a middleman so that, for example, um, it's trying to overlay our natural system with its system to in order to control. And it acts like a big giant parasite over all of humanity. So it wants to capture the entire system. So... Um, so if you and I were in a room and um, you were my, you were God or you were um, a relative or you were my higher self, whoever you are, and you were on the opposite side of the room from me and I am getting information in from you and then this some some dude walks in the in between and starts grabbing my attention and so that I'm not paying attention to you anymore he's this this guy that's in the middle of the room now is um, putting on a show for me so that I'm distracted away from you that that is what they do now they they work in that way to distract you away from your uh, your true source or they will try to hijack I have found um, a, a a, a handful of reversals now that are indicating that people are having their um, authentic expression squelched, uh, suppressed, and then something is squawking through them. I don't know if it's like a, a cult member with a microphone somewhere or if it's AI. I don't know that. Something is like, so I found that on um, Congresswoman Scanlon. She's the one who um, uh, called is Scanlon her name? I think Scanlon's her name. Um, and she called um, Jim Jordan a fringe conspiracy theorist. Well, she said that with such vitriol. I was like, I wonder what her reverse speech is right there. And so I, I did her, uh, I did a reverse speech analysis right there, and it indicated that's what happened right there. So see, sometimes I'll get red flags going like, hey, that doesn't sound right right there. What's what's going on and I pull back the curtain and have a look to see what her better half has to say there and it was describing her authentic um, expression being suppressed while something else came through when she called him a fringe conspiracy theorist y'all remember that so um, also this appears to be the case with um, Judge Sullivan where it's it's like implying that you know it's like I'm getting that these people are are being strong armed and or um, t taken over 
it not maybe not a hundred percent you know I imagine there's a gradient but um, I'm finding it like <clears throat> for example I, I recommend you go and look on our still our still small voice Inc YouTube channel and look up the um, reverse speech analysis I did on Busy Phillips. That one's only about 10 minutes. Um, I don't believe that Busy was born a female. I believe Busy Phillips is trans. Um, so that could explain some of the disconnect there when Busy is talking about um, her children, but but I, she's it's clear that she's being targeted. Now she looks to be an NWO owned celebrity. Okay, these are my opinions based on what our better halves are telling us and what her better half was telling us in that speech. She had the most bizarre speech where she was just going on and on about all of these, um, you know, female issues, issues that females have in particular, and, and then um, how her period lines up with the moon. The moon is a very big thing for this cult, and it explains why ha I have never liked the moon. I actually understand that it's whatever it, it's, it's what the moon stands for to this cult that I don't like. It's not actually the moon, but it, I don't like full moons because I don't like any of that stuff. I do not like the moon, and it seems to stem uh, from this satanic ritual abuse system they've got going and I, I have to tell you guys I'm I'm tired of it I, I just they seem like uh, like they never grew up and like you know <laughs> it's like a a tantrum throwing three-year-old is is driving the entire planet it is unreal and, and I've just had it. So anyway, I, I hope this did some good for you. Um, I, I can't wait to see everybody just pull together, stand up, and, and get this taken care of. The, you know, they abuse their own children. They start at three years old just traumatizing their children, apparently so that they can be interfaced with this computer system and this AI is what it's looking like for MK Ultra. And then they're now they want to spread it to the entire planet. Well, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. So, um, so I hope that y'all can just benefit from all the information that our better halves are are sending to us. You know, because, I mean, it's it's really important, especially now when they're trying to distract you away from your true guidance, you know, <clears throat> or hijack, you know. Anyway, okay, guys, I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. And let's, you know, remember, as bad as this truth is, all of this truth, it's it's exciting to me to find it out because it is a starting point in in straightening it out. You know, and getting back to where we really want to be, all of us. You know, we've really been led astray, and those people have led themselves astray. You know, this this damages them too. They they're not going to be able to see that, but it's it damages them too. Um, but those particular ones that that are dangerous to humanity, you know, I I don't know what else can be done for them. Humanity has got to be safeguarded here. You know, <clears throat> so, okay, guys, we'll have a good Monday night and a good rest of your week. Bye now.